Well, speaking of the Nintendo NX, we've got some, uh, some more rumors are surfacing today. Reports say it may work with other devices. This is a Wall Street Journal reporter. Uh, says the source tells them it could work, work with other devices, including PCs or the PS4. Mm. Well, I, I thought, I didn't, I, I didn't actually, I just skimmed the Wall Street Journal article. I thought this came from like a survey that Nintendo sent out. There were two sources. There's, two, there's oh, this okay. source and then there's mm -hmm. this survey from this company uh, that works with Nintendo that says it will have an achievement-based system, it can do 4K video streaming, and it'll have 900p, 60 frames per yeah. second graphics. So yeah, that, those are all really interesting. But the, the first thing you said was the uh, working with other systems. Yeah. And that's potentially because it's a screen and a controller mm -hmm. that could work with other stuff. I mean, I th is, that the, is that the crux of the you understand? Well, but the fact that it, so I thought maybe, we've talked about Nintendo sort of uniting the uh, handheld yeah. with a TV system, yeah. but working with a PlayStation 4, the, I, mean, I can't the, even like imagine. Well, like, what no, I, I can imagine what it is. They're, Lay it on it's us. A, it's, a, their new ser it's a cloud gaming service. Yeah, I think so too. And probably. that's where they're headed. So what's, what is their console then? Just one option where you can play? You could also play it on... Yeah, their con their console. So they either. Oh, you're saying the subscription service that they talked in the survey. Yeah. Is the the thing they're announcing, and they have some hardware for it, but maybe you could access it like Netflix and other things. Yeah, and the idea is either you buy the hardware and have it in your own home, or if you don't want to buy the hardware or can't buy the hardware, you can maybe subscribe to some kind of a service and stream and like you know <coughs> make it, download an app and then you can stream NX games on you know other game consoles. Yeah. How crazy? How crazy would that be? I think I think that's uh, that's certainly plausible. That's a that's one step farther than like I would probably predict. I think it's probably just online functionality. Like that would be my guess. It's mm -hmm. like like you can log into Facebook on your on your on your console if you want, and mm -hmm. I feel like you'll be able to log into a Nintendo account on other platforms than that Nintendo account. Right. I, I don't expect it to extend much farther than that. I mean I mean who knows, right? It's all we're all just guessing, but that would yeah. be my guess. Is that they're like yeah maybe you'll be able to see your friends and messages on this other console like. So a lot of people in the office got hung up on the 980, uh, 900p thing. That is because it's not 1080. Yes. So a couple a couple thoughts that I just heard from people talking about it a lot today, and that I that I came up with too. Uh, one is that um, the Xbox uh, One primarily runs at 900p. Yep. Uh, it looks fantastic. Right. So the looks great. Is gorgeous. I, I, I actually still am like obsessive about how it's not at 1080p, and I think about it, and I make I, that factors in my, de my decisions to play games, but when I'm actually in, in the game playing it stuff, it doesn't matter too much, right? Yeah. But also, the you know the iPhone is a higher resolution than that, uh, but the Wii U gamepad is 480, uh, hmm. so that's uh, much, much more than it would be. So if it does have a screen on a gamepad, or if it's a streaming device that streams to your television, what that's saying is that it's, it's, it's more powerful than the gamepad, that's interesting. It's the screen will be less dense with pixels than it is on an iPhone yeah. handheld. So it's kind of an in-between thing. But if you think about it, what the iPhone is not good at is, is uh, what's it called when you play with your, uh, when you play with something and then you, it's on a TV? It has a term. I mean, they have AirPlay. Is AirPlay, Air yes. AirPlay is pretty laggy and it doesn't work so yeah, hot. Right. Uh, you have to have a lot of processing power still to have something on one device that, that streams really nice to a TV. Well, so 900 Nintendo, seems like the target they're going for to make that work. Nintendo figured right that out. Like like a, yeah. a lot of people don't really give the Wii U enough credit for... Um, Solving like, that problem. You, they, right, they have proprietary technology in that problem of streaming from a device to your TV that's ex like Nintendo figured it out over a course of years and years and years and it uses tech, like it's not just using like standard Bluetooth or anything like that, mm. unlike literally everyone else, like every other solution that's out there, like the way that they're doing that is unique and special to Nintendo, um, which is cool, like it's badass. And I never really thought that much about it until I was like, oh yeah, I guess that is true. Like I'm playing this, on, like I, I played Smash on my gamepad, gamepad probably more than I played on my TV. And like it's pretty rad that the gamepad has this tech in it. Um, and I would expect that to factor into their next device in some capacity. We just have too many questions. Like, like yeah. you're right that uh, the iPhone now is more pixels per inch than a 1080p television, mm -hmm. but the actual real, re like it's, it, it matters how big the screen is, right? Yeah. So it's mm -hmm. like, it's hard to, until we know, is it some weird handheld console hybrid? Like, I don't know, like, uh, it's tough to read too much into it. We also have a quote from current Nintendo president, Kamishima, this week, who says the company is not looking to build on old ideas, but offer entirely new ones. And the top comment on our article on IGN says that that quote should fill everyone with fear. 
because apparently this gamer, <laughs> this gamer in particular, yeah, like wants a very just wants a traditional yeah. video game console with a great controller. They don't want Nintendo to keep trying to reinvent the wheel. Well, and, but, it, but and, it doesn't mean that Nintendo's trying to not reinvent their own system, the Wii U, and so they don't want to do some kind of two screen thing. Right. Yeah. I mean, maybe it's them saying that they want to do something different for them, which is actually make a traditional yeah, exactly. system for the first exactly. time in a decade. Yeah. You know, like that would be cool. My question to you three is: What do you really want? out of the Nintendo NX. I want Nintendo to return to its bread and butter. Yeah. I mean I'm Super Nintendo. I'm just I'm, like exactly. a game console that just plays great games that and plays has a amazing great controller. Games, it has a great controller that is technologically up to snuff with what its contemporaries are doing oh. and and leverage that power and that um, de design and development flexibility that a traditional controller gives you uh, to make uh, great games the way only Nintendo knows how. Yeah, I actually That's all I want. for me personally, um, I don't even care if it's technologically up to snuff. Um, I, you, you know, what I want, like it's Justin Davis's dream universe, um, yeah, I want the Super Nintendo 2, and I want Super Mario World mm -hmm. 3, and I want Link to the Past 2, and like that's what I want from Nintendo. Obviously, that's not financially viable. That's not what they're going to do, but that's well, what they, would... they did do Link to the Past 2. <laughs> and it was, and it was amazing. amazing. Yeah, except it for amazing. artistically, it was it's awful. Crummy looking. Yeah, I so know, it was awful. awful. I mean, I didn't like it as... That is an ugly game. <laughs> I thought... I, that's really strong. The gameplay was great. Like, I voted yeah. for it for best 3DS game and yada yeah. yada, but like, I would take Link to the Past style over it in a heartbeat. Well, yeah, I agree with you. What about Super Mario World uh, 2? That was Yoshi's Island. Yeah, that's why I said 3. <laughs> 3, yes, okay. Um, but that's what I would want. I just want. I feel like that was Nintendo at their peak, yeah. um, and I would just like to see more of that. Yep. What about you? Oh, I have a kind of a mix of those two things. I want to see. Uh, what, what I'd really like is you know whatever is going to make Nintendo games shine is fine with me. But I also really, really like when Nintendo is seen as, and, and it feels to me, as they're the technological leader in something. Mm -hmm. So even though the Wii was behind in in graphical power. Uh, they were still a technological leader in this kind of interactive, you know, uh, we, we, not, not, we didn't like it too much, but Wii Sports was amazing. And it was so amazing that it was on every morning show in the country. And Brain Age was amazing for its own ways, too. And, and I, I, like, I like to see them lead in a, in a tech space in some way. Hmm. Yeah, I think more graphically would be great. Yeah, that's, that's <laughs> yeah. what I'm saying. Like, I want to like in a while. trying to wrap my brain around what a Super Mario Galaxy three looks like on a machine more with today's specs. Um, yeah, what that? What's that team working on? That Tokyo team's working on something awesome, I'm sure. What do you want to see, Damon? Definitely like the, along the same lines as a more traditional uh, console. Although it's just it would, be, it would be hard to think how that would fit in because there's never been uh, a. There's never been a time when three consoles have been able to survive at the same sure. time on the market. It's always they, just been two. They haven't done the same thing, just lined up one-to-one -one with their competitors since the Super Nintendo. It's true. Ever since then, they've been doing their own thing. Yeah. I, I, I think that ship has sailed. Yeah. But it is, it, I've said this probably on GameScoop before, but it also makes our, our jobs and uh, f uh, you know, fans' enjoyment, uh, I think, greater that Nintendo is doing something different. So yeah. instead of having three of the same thing competing in the same ways, it's neat to have them as a force of just goofy fun. And sure. I hope they just, whatever happens, I hope they stay that. We should be finding out more about the Nintendo NX over the next few months.